Good morning everyone. You're literally like the first people I've spoken to this morning, so excuse my voice. <laughs> and happy spring. I feel like we are officially in our era of spring now. I'm so excited. The winter is finally over, thank God. I do enjoy parts of winter, obviously like Christmas and snow, but just on like a mundane day, you have to admit summer is better. And when a season changes, I really like to get in the mood of that season. So like, I really like to take it as like a refresh, set some new goals. I like to realign myself, just check in with myself. So I thought it'd be nice to kind of film that process. And also today I'm gonna get my nails done. So I thought I'd take you along with me. You have to ignore like the color mismatch. I might have to put some tan on my hands later because that's really stressful. My tan is like a hot mess at the minute. It's like basically on my arms and nothing else. But yeah, I thought we could talk about like our goals. I thought we could realign. I'm going to show you how I do that. Basically a mini vlog with some wholesome content in. But I mean, goals wise, I'm just going to make a smoothie whilst I talk. So goals wise, I feel like my goals always change, especially because i'm doing marketing so i do marketing both at work and like on the side doing youtube and like tiktok and stuff and because it's like so changing all of the time and i'm growing as well i feel like my goals always change but i definitely think consistency is key and that's something i'm definitely building like i'm posting on tiktok every single day i'm really consistent with my youtube and i'm just like loving it i'm really really loving producing everything and like everything that's involved. So definitely continuing on with that. Also, how annoying is my freezer? I have to open the fridge, open that door, and then open this door to get into the freezer. How annoying is that? Anyways, posy vibes. I definitely want to focus on movement more. So I want to keep moving my body and just fully get back into exercise like well and truly. I was really really good at the start of the year and then I got kind of ill and I had several different kind of health problems going on so I would say I fell off for like a month and it's just like totally throw me so definitely getting back into movement properly. I'm gonna pop a banana in because I feel like these need eating up and obviously along with that comes diet like I want to be eating well which to be fair, like, I don't really struggle with, like, apart from the dairy thing. If you're new to my channel, then you won't know that I gave up dairy in 2024, like, this year. And I have to say, I haven't given it up fully because I didn't realise how much dairy was actually in stuff. There was literally nothing in that. <laughs> that was so pointless. I had to go to Sainsbury's and get some more oat milk yesterday because, honestly, this oat milk addiction is no joke. I'd go through so much oat milk. But anyway, yeah, I didn't realise like how much dairy was in stuff. So I've kind of eaten stuff without realising. And then other times it's been like socially awkward to be like, I can't eat that because of dairy. So I'm just adjusting and I wouldn't say I've given it up, but I definitely cut it down. That's actually been quite hard. I found that quite challenging. But obviously working on diet is really important. So I'm just going to like continue to do that. But I think the most exciting goal of spring for, for me is like sprucing up the house, like getting it ready for summer. We've actually ordered some garden furniture and I can't wait for that to come. And we need to paint the fences in the garden because they're looking a little bit shabby. So we're gonna do that. So I'm really, really excited just to freshen up the house. I've actually done a spring clean. If you haven't done a spring clean in your house, this is your sign to do so because I feel so amazing for doing it. You'll have to go and watch my um, last YouTube video, which was a wardrobe clear out. It was so satisfying and I would urge you to do the same now it's spring. So yeah, that and also one more thing which I'm going to tell you after I was this. So I feel like my last goal is to really kind of focus on work-life balance, which is so hard when you're as busy as I am. But at the minute I've just kind of been like all work, work, work and so is my boyfriend because he works away and stuff so there's a lot of work all of the time especially because I do social media outside of my full-time job it is literally a full-time job sometimes I feel like I'm doing two full-time jobs but I love it and I wouldn't change it for the world however sometimes I let that 
take over my stress and take over my life and I want to kind of like have the ability to eradicate that just whizzing again so yeah that's also like another goal um, I want to definitely still work hard and still be pushing out loads of content and getting things done at work but I do want to have the ability to say no basically <laughs> okay smoothie made I literally have one of these every single morning and I love it but I don't know how to make less like because I only use like one banana and then like a little bit of fruit I could use less fruit but I use one scoop of protein like one row of chocolate and it always comes out like so big but I love it I drink every drop to be honest so cheers okay let's go in the lounge I'm going to drink this in there do you call it lounge or living room Anyway, we're gonna go in there. I'm gonna do something really, really wholesome. Okay, we are triple parked. I always like to be triple parked with drinks, to be honest, but not the alcoholic kind. We are having, do you know, have you heard of Moju? I think it's how you say it, Moju. And they're like ginger shots. I literally love them, they're so convenient. You can make your own, but girl, I don't have the time. I just have these, but oh, they make you shiver. Oh. Okay, one. Ooh, she's spicy. Oh God. And I've got my tea and my smoothie. So, now, when it gets to like a new season, I really, really like to, as I say, refresh, but I love to create like Pinterest boards. So I think all of mine are actually private. But if you want me to, I can make this one like public and I'll put it in the link in the bio, in the description even. And then you'll be able to like have a look, get some inspo. And I just feel like this is a really nice way to kind of set your intentions like in a visual way because I'm such a visual person. And that way I can just kind of like look at different things that I want to achieve and like get some visual kind of like creativity flowing for example things like hair nails anything like related to my goals so for example I might be looking at like um garden furniture layouts or you know what I mean things like that I literally love doing things like that maybe like seasonal fruit and veg that you might want to incorporate into your diet just loads of stuff like that oh my god I just got a notification saying my passwords have been compromised. Do you guys ever get that? I get that quite a bit. So some of your passwords have appeared in a data leak, putting those accounts at high risk of compromise. Well, what do you want me to do about it? That seems like so serious, but they always give me those notifications and I'm like, um. <laughs> but anywho, so I'm gonna do like a little bit of pinning Oh my god, I've just seen these shoes I love. They are so, so nice. Wow. They're like the handball Adidas trainers. Love. I actually got some new um, Sambas recently. I think they're down here. So I got these ones because I thought they would go with everything. I'm not joking. I don't own another pair of shoes apart from two pairs of Uggs. That's all I have because I ruined my new balance. I have some running trainers, but all I have is work shoes running trainers and two pairs of Uggs. That's all the shoes I have and heels. But uh, yeah, I can't wear heels to many places. So I was like, it's, try it's time to expand the shoe wardrobe. So I got these, but I'm thinking I might get another pair because they're so comfy in like a different color. So maybe I'm gonna pin these. <laughs>
dressing gown on because I'm like a little bit chilly. Speaking of spring, I'm gonna be like warm and everything, but just a little bit chilly, so I've put this on. Um, but I'm just gonna do like some spring makeup. I've actually already done my skincare, and so I'm just gonna put some like really light, fresh makeup on for the day. Obviously, as I said, we're gonna go and get our nails done. I'm so excited because these are really, really cracked. So yeah, let's put some makeup on. One thing I have been absolutely loving, it's just been saving my life, is this Be Bold Tan. I have mentioned it before, but it's just so good. Like it just saves my life every single time because I don't, well, I wear tan. I wear a fake tan and I put it on every week. But then as the week goes on, like it will fade on my neck and my hands, as you can see. So just like topping up with that when it gets a little bit like old, saves your life. Literally been just adoring it. It's so, so good. And I used to use these, the Ciate London Bronzing Drops. I think I actually did a YouTube video with these when they first came out. And these are really, really good. But the only problem I have is that it kind of stays wet. So they don't kind of dry down very well. Whereas this dries down and it stays waterproof. So you have to let it dry for 30 minutes. And then after that, it's waterproof. Like how good. So that means you can put it on your hands and everything. And you can gently, I would say, you can't like fully scrub your hands. But you'll be able to wash your hands throughout the day. Okay, now we're looking a little bit more even. Um... Is it going to be better if I turn my light on? Let me see. Is that better or not? I don't know. I feel like it is. So I'm going to leave it on. It is a bit warm though, so I might just turn the temperature down. Okay, that's too cool. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think that's a bit better. What is happening here? I obviously need to tan my face, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on. And add that onto my face. One of you guys actually asked for a chatty get ready with me in my last video in the comments. So here we are chatting, getting ready. Oh, I forgot to put my primer on. I do that every single time. I like lay it out and I'm like, right, pop it in front of you so you don't forget. And I forgot. I wanted to put that one on as well because it's poreless um, and my skin is just like breaking out at the minute. I don't know what's going on. So not ideal. But there we go, it is what it is. And obviously this is to match the rest of my tan, so it might look a little bit drastic at first, <laughs> but it's gonna give me like a really nice glow and color. And that is what we want. We wanna be nice and glowy in spring. I'm not gonna actually add any foundation today. I'm just gonna keep it super glowy and like light. Someone is actually strimming outside so it feels very spring like right now people are like getting their gardens ready someone's also like hammering like banging something i don't know what they're doing but sorry if you hear that so i've just popped a little bit of concealer on my blemishes i feel like i've got so many red ones like dotted around my face but what can you do well that one's a bit crusty okay that will do not perfect like you can still see them but that's fine something else i've really been loving is this be Bear bronzer and I wasn't expecting to love it as much as I do but it's just such a nice like shade it's not too warm it's not too cool it's easy to make it look natural do you know what I mean sometimes bronzers can be like a bit intense and even with a really kind of dense brush like this one it's on the end of the refi brush it's just so easy to make it look natural and a lot of the time getting a pigmented bronzer isn't the problem like getting a natural one is so like look how good that is it's just giving me like a nice flush of color without being too heavy so i've really really been liking this i got it off tiktok shop so if you want to check them out they're on tiktok shop now for the most exciting part is oh wait i've just dipped the lid in that that's not very helpful next up we have blusher very interesting shape i have to say but this one is from Glow Hub and it's a really nice pink, very bright um, at first. So I just like to pop a little bit on. Then we're going to blend that out. You can blend that out with your fingers or a brush. I'm just going to do it with my fingers today, I think. Keep everything nice and natural and blended and creamy. Honestly, I don't think anyone is ever going to get through one of these because there's so much product in here and you only need like the tiniest bit. So the day someone gets through this, 
they deserve an achievement. <laughs> I mean, an award, not an achievement. Although it definitely is a big achievement. Um, so I'm going to take that brush and blend it back into the bronzer. Okay, this is what we're looking like. Um, I'm going to put like a tiny bit of concealer on the inner corner of my eye, I think. Just to like brighten myself up a little bit. Boop and boop. This concealer from Fine um, actually dries down matte as well. So if you want to add it on without having to like go in with loads of powder and set it and like do all of that, this is a really, really good option to do so. Really, really good for spring because like I say, dries down matte. You're not going to need to like keep topping it up or add loads of powder to make it set. It's kind of going to do that all in one. So I'm just dabbing that in just to make me look a little bit more fresh and awake. And awake? <laughs> I can't talk today. And awake. That is literally all I'm going to do for my base. And then I'm just going to do my eyebrows and some mascara, I think. So I'm going to pop those on. And then I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to get dressed as well. So I'll show you like the final OOTD. Ready for the day. Okay, final OOTD. This is what I'm going for. We've got a little skims do. Um... Jacket is giving like the Zara and Molly May jacket, but like something a little bit different. And then I've got ignore the mess on the floor. But then I've got my little trainers on. And then fragrance of choice. Because this is like a little spring vloggy, I thought we'd stick with the spring theme. The Claudia Killsby perfume. It's been out of stock for so long. But honestly, this is like the smell. Of spring if you want a spring perfume or like one for summer i would highly recommend this i am literally so fussy when it comes to perfumes and i love this so i'm going to spritz some of this set you up there i'm going to add some of this so i smell good smell good in the nail salon right okay let's go it's a gorgeous day for starbucks <laughs> for the way I've just parked in a petrol station because where I was from like it was a bit awkward to get into the Starbucks so I just parked in a petrol station and I'm really scared that they're gonna have like towed my car not that I was very long but oh that could have done with some sugar but that's okay I'm gonna enjoy it anyway right let's go and get our nails done I think I'm just gonna get French which is so boring but I've just got a lot of things going on at the minute and I want them to go with everything so I think I'm just gonna go for French okay we literally have all of these colors to choose from but I think I'm gonna go for this one called Diva okay my little toes done my toes are so pale it's a joke <laughs> but yeah I think I'm gonna go for a pink which is this one it's like a nice cool tone pink. Hello. Okay, so we're back from the salon and being out. So these are the nails. Let me show you up close. I really feel like they're actually very good for a nail shop. I feel like they look a little bit dark, but the actual pink is really, really nice. And I really, really like the shape. It was just like a little local salon near me. So I'm really happy with them. I do really, really like them, but it hurt getting them done because I was used to go to nail tech and I've recently like changed. And let me tell you, going to a nail shop from a nail tech is like a shock to the system. Honestly, I wasn't ready. Like my fingers are sore. <laughs> just cut me in like, one, two, three, four, five different places. That's a whole hand worth of cuts. So I didn't actually enjoy the experience, if I'm being totally honest. Um, but we're here and they look nice. So that's the main thing. Me and my boyfriend are actually going out for a meal this evening. So I thought I'd take you along with me. Why not? So I'm just like sprucing up. So I've just um, popped some setting spray on as you saw. But... My bronzer's got like a little bit patchy on my forehead. It literally does every single time. Um, it's not just the product and stuff. But yeah, so I need to top up my makeup and then I'm gonna change my outfit as well because although we're only going to a local pub, so it's nothing, you know, really, really fancy. 
um but yeah i want to like change my outfit spruce up a bit and i'm really excited because usually on a saturday night i'd be like no i've got editing to do like he would be busy doing college work. He's actually doing some college work downstairs. He's not at college, by the way. I feel like I said this in a vlog before because I was like, I don't want you guys to think I'm dating someone that's like 10 years younger than me. He is just doing like an apprenticeship course through his employment. So he goes to college about like one day a week. But yeah, he's doing some college work downstairs and I'm like proud of us being like, let's go out and spend some time together. And I'm still gonna take you with me. So technically it is still, me working a little bit but i'm just gonna like show you what we get see what the vibes are at their place because i've never been there before and yeah i thought that would be cute so to top up um uh, my concealer really needs topping up my eyes are looking dark and i think i'm actually gonna go in with the curve case this time it's just got some really nice like warm shades in there so i'm just gonna add that to me for it and then for blush i'm just layering all of the products on top of what i had earlier but i'm just going in with my rare beauty blush this is in the shade hope yeah hope i love this it's such like a warm tone blusher i'm just using the exact same brush but yeah and then i'm just gonna add a little bit of concealer again i think i'm just gonna go in with the same one but this time i'm gonna use a brush just so it's like a tiny bit more coverage honestly i could just spend my life in this room doing makeup bits oh something i do actually need to do is clean my makeup brushes okay now i've put like more bronzer on that actually looks like super pale but we move it's fine i'm only going to like literally a local pub so i'm not gonna stress too much to be honest i'm a spring chicken this is what i'm going for um this is zara but i actually got it off vinted for five pounds so love that for me and i've got, actually got these shoes they are very fashion ignore the pale feet but i thought you could see my little pink toes through it and i just really like them they're like something different so yeah this is what i'm going for just something chill we're off can't wait Oh, you look very handsome. No, no. Show me your OOTD. Oh, you look really, really handsome. Give me a twirl. Wow, we've got a stairs twirl today. Fabulous. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so I've got prawn and chorizo pasta. And Corey got a... Made Marion burger. Is it chicken? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Oh, that looks good. And I got a lime and soda and Corey got a Pepsi. Scrumptious. 